Hello Cancer and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 13th to the 19th of February 2023 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates as always. So we're going to pull an oracle card, an angel message and then we will look at the cards for you for the week. What do we have for Cancer? So we have number 40 psychic protection around me now a shield of gold protecting me strong and bold strong intuition with that as well i'm going to pull you an angel card and see what we have for you cancer so what do we have for our lovely cancerians please angel spirits guide message for cancer for the week what do we have for cancer for the week we have number 38, positive thoughts. The angels are advising you to focus on solutions instead of problems. And we have that with psychic protection. So let's see what we have for you, Cancer. I am going to use the Gilded Tarot Royale this week. And if we need to clarify, it will be with the original Gilded Tarot. Okay, what do we have for Cancer, please? Overarching energy first for the week. Angel Spirits Guides, message for Cancer, thank you. We have the Seven of Swords. The Empress. Ten of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles here, Six of Pentacles, all this Pentacles energy. We have the Three of Wands and bottom of the deck, more Pentacles energy. We have the Three of Pentacles here. So Cancer, I'm going to clarify the Seven of Swords. What do we have for Cancer, please? With the Seven of Swords, thank you. It's about secrecy, deception on some level. What do we have for the Seven of Swords, please, for the week? For our lovely Cancerians, please. Okay, so I've got the Four of Cups. And... We have the Ace of Pentacles. So Cancer, the Seven of Swords can be about secrecy. I mean, the amount of Pentacles in this reading, for, for some of you this can be a money thing. Um, and sometimes we do act secretly in money because if we want to pursue other opportunities and are pursuing our own agenda, so to speak, we don't tell anybody about it because it could threaten your current job. So this can be you act in secrecy because that's what's warranted and that's what serves you right now. It can also be about deception of other kinds as well. Betrayal, deception, lies, stealing. I mean, there's levels to this card, secrets, concealment in some way. We have the Four of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Four of Cups is someone reaching out, offering you something. I mean, in terms of love romance, if this was a deception thing, it would be, can we make an apology, an apology to make things right, uh, a peace offering, an offer to calm the waters. And again, with the Pentacle energy, start on a, st a stable footing, emotional and uh, practical rebirth. Uh, building back up and this is the first step again it can be about starting over in the home the family the relationship as well can be property uh, so the ace of pentacles can be can involve a practical element like the home the property as well moving or relocating similar here cancer in terms of money areas if you have been pursuing your own agenda 
it might well be here this week that <laughs> something is coming into you and you're thinking about turning your back on your current job, for example, because you're not getting the money that you want. You're not getting the promotion that you want. You're not getting the recognition that you want. So you have pursued opportunities elsewhere. And the Ace of Pentacles represents an abundant new beginning, an abundant new path opening for you. Now, this can be as you choose to turn your back on a current employment situation in order to take a job elsewhere, it might well be your current place of work offers to keep you. So again, it's whatever this new abundant path is for you. It could be a new job, opportunity, career path, business opportunity. It could well be a new abundant footing in your current place of work because someone's offering you more than they did before because they realize they could lose you. So however that manifests for you, really, it's you're being offered something to not walk away. I mean, fun fundamentally, that's the issue. Um, whether it's, again, the three of wands can be about turning your back on a situation and manifesting a, a brand new direction. Um, I'm feeling more optimistic and hopeful about that situation, but this is where there could be some kind of offer or an invitation extended. Again, this can be about you, your, you and your relationship. The two of cups is my bond between two people or something that affects a relationship as well. So it looks like uh, reconciliation, if it's about the relationship itself, someone not wanting you to turn your back on this. And for others of you, it can be a work scenario and it might even affect you and your relationship or you on your own. Again, the two of cups can be somebody extending you an offer or an invitation if it's work wise. Again, the three of pentacles willing to compromise, being open to negotiate to keep you is what I'm seeing. And that really is, again, the Three of Pentacles is all about compromise, negotiation. Can we make this work? How do we make this work? How do I keep you? And starting over on that kind of solid footing again, whether it's money, career, finances, or love, romance, relationships. We have the Empress, somebody who doesn't feel lack, but it's in the challenge position. And the Eight of Pentacles is showing me that you are very productive. You're very good at what you do. You work hard. You don't mind, you know, working above and beyond the normal working hours as well. Uh, so this can be a very good energy in terms of somebody who really is very good at what they do. They put in the work. You're reliable. You're, you're conscientious. You're methodical. You don't kind of skip steps, you know. This is somebody who absolutely you know, pays attention to dotting the I's and crossing the T's. So whatever you're doing here, this is, you're wanting new abundance, but right now you're not, you're feeling a bit of lack uh, and you're putting in the work and it looks like you're not getting the results of that. In terms of love, romance, relationships, again, this is that energy of somebody who's really willing to put the effort into work through a situation in order to bring new abundant energy, renewal, healing, nurturing a new path, uh, starting over with you that's what this person but it's starting over where you don't feel lack where this person is saying i will absolutely make sure that you don't regret not walking away i will put in the work and i will make sure that you get the experience that you deserve in terms of love romance relationships that's what this person is kind of saying but the empress is all about abundance not feeling lack feeling bountiful and the fact that you're on a path that promises um real potential and growth and uh, success and fulfillment. We have, yeah, the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is long-term stability and security. It's one of the wealth cards of tarot. It can indicate financial success, abundance. Um, it is one of, the, one of the key wealth cards of the tarot deck. It can also be about goal achievement. And for some of you, it looks like this is you've been wanting to climb the ladder, certainly in terms of money, career, finances. Again, the Six of Pentacles can be someone reaching out, offering you something. Now, that could be a new job. It could be a new job elsewhere because it looks like they're giving you more, more than what you're getting right now. And again, this sense of long term security, stability, success coming your way and goal achievement. So very good in terms of money areas, in particular, these two cards. In relationships, the pentacles take on emotional stability energy. So 
again, somebody offering more, offering to make sure that there is this sense of giving and receiving. One person doesn't take more than they give, the other person doesn't give more than they take. And by that way, a mutual kind of give and take energy, there's a real kind of balance and harmony in a relationship. I'm promising to bring that back to this firm footing. So the Ten of Pentacles can be linked with long-term committed relationships, marriage. It can have a property flavor as well in terms of buying a new home together. Um, can be linked with family or even starting a family. It's about really putting down roots for the long term. So this is what I'm seeing here, Cancer. This person is wanting to rebalance things, saying they'll put the work in, they want to heal, they want to start over, but you're not going to regret this. In fact, they'll make sure that you feel equally getting what you need out of the relationship, you know, um, and they'll work to, to achieve that. They're asking you to work through things for now. Can we make it work? And this is the energy of the Two of Cups, my bond between two people. It is a very powerful connection, one of the soul connections in terms of uh, tarot. So this person is important to you, kindred spirit, soul connection. They're asking to reconcile in terms of love, romance, relationship, and for you to not turn your back in a situation and say that ship has sailed. And it's because they've deceived you in some way. They weren't above board. Lies, deception, secrets, betrayal. I mean, there's levels to this. But this person is wanting to make amends with you. And similarly, like I said, in terms of money career, it looks like as soon as you choose to move in a different direction, your current place of work wants to keep you and wants to negotiate in terms of how they can make it work for you. Uh, so they're willing to give more in order to keep you. That's what I see for you. The message is that there's going to be this sense of psychic protection. Just trust your intuition. You have that kind of uh, third eye kind of insight this week in terms of how to be astute, how to uh, use your kind of insight to your advantage in some way and really see the see the future that you want um, and choose whether, which, which path is possible for you, which path is going to give you that greater happiness and fulfillment. This energy of positive thoughts is really key as well um, because it looks like what we, you know, the sense of law of attraction, what we put out, we get back as well. So there is that sense of try and approach this with that kind of positive outlook in terms of how you want to resolve this but there's definitely an energy here of us you're being offered more uh one person is certainly wanting to make things right with you for deceiving you in some way and is is saying this time around you're going to get more out of the relationship and be fulfilled where maybe you weren't before or they didn't make you feel that way by what they did and similarly, in terms of love and in terms of work scenario, it looks like just as you choose to turn your back in a situation, they tried to keep you and are then willing to negotiate and even compromise and be more flexible in terms of money, responsibilities and climbing the ladder. I mean, I'm definitely getting a sense of climbing the ladder for you this week. It feels like a pivotal week. OK, what do we have? I mean, really, the message remains the same. It's just whichever area of life that applies to you. What do we have as a, as a affirmation for cancer, please? Yeah, interesting. We have hold the vision, trust the process. Bottom of the deck, if you can dream it, you can do it. <laughs> Okay, Cancer, I'm going to pull you a final fairy card. What do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Cancerians for the week. Two cards. Life energy, which is sunshine energy. Always positive. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Yeah, we have inner child. The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. Inner child energy is so important, especially with this positive thoughts energy, because when we allow ourselves in another area of life just to have fun, 
just to indulge in something, that kind of escapism, treat, pampering, uh, or just doing something that's really fun that brings joy to you. It's amazing how it really balances out our energy, you know, in other areas of our life and, you know, be a bit more grounded and balanced in our own energy to deal with this. So that's what I see for you here, Cancer. I hope you found the reading helpful. If you did, please do and useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.